usually wake up roughly 30 to 40 minutes before my first class. Uh, and today I have an 8 a.m. so I kind of had to wake up a little earlier than I normally would have liked. That 30 minute window is just enough time for me to take a shower, go through my morning routine, and get ready for my first class. And my first class today is calculus based physics. And yes, I do have the coolest physics notebook ever. It's the same one I've been using since high school, and I just kind of continue to add to it through all the physics classes that I take. Well, uh, physics is actually kind of fun, but a three-hour Zoom at 8 a.m. is painful and stretches the limit of the human attention span to its to its utmost limits. So I'm gonna I'm gonna need some caffeine. When it comes to breakfast, uh, I've kind of been eating the same thing every morning for about as long as I can remember, uh, and that's frosted mini wheats. So uh, I just kind of eat those at any point during the lecture in which I don't have to be taking notes. I can just kind of listen and eat. Yeah, I got kind of sleepy at one point. Today I really lucked out because calculus ended up ending an hour early. Uh, and I had some laundry to do, uh, some stuff to kind of clean up in my dorm, so I kind of used that extra hour in my day to work on that. So I like to do my laundry, uh, you know, when everyone else really isn't. Uh, so like early in the mornings, for example, is a great time, or even at noon, you'd be surprised how many uh, students don't schedule any classes before noon. Uh, and they'll just kind of want to sleep in, so it's a good time for me to do stuff like that. Next I took out the trash. Uh, this is something I do probably two to three times a week because my trash can really can't hold that much stuff, so it ends up overfilling quite frequently. I'm not OCD or anything, but I do like to kind of live in a clean workspace. So I will uh, vacuum semi-frequently because my putting green carpet uh, is a dirt magnet. It will collect and show just about any, anything that gets tracked in. And when putting, uh, you know, the smallest little piece of grass can kind of throw off your putts. So I got to clean it pretty regularly for that. As of late, my putting has really been quite atrocious. So something to fix that is I've been hitting at least 100 putts every single day. This may not help me with my pace or my ability of reading greens, but what it does help is it gives me confidence that I'm actually aimed where I think I'm aimed. Once it's 11.30, then it's time for my Calculus 2 class. Uh, it meets four times a week, three of those are virtual, one is in person, and it's definitely a really challenging course. And today I was a little sleepy, I didn't get a ton of sleep the night before, but it is definitely a class that you can succeed in if you really put in a lot of time after class. Well, I, I got a test next week, so I need to learn some material. A lot after Calculus 2 ends, I've got about 10 minutes to get to my history class and my history class is fairly close by, but I still like to longboard to it because it's fun, and longboarding has kind of become my go-to method of transportation to get from A to B, and it really helps that my college has a very flat campus. Now, I really like my history class, and it is kind of the first class that I've really ever been in that makes me feel like a college student. Like just the way the class is kind of set up, the way it's taught, and the environment really feels like college. Uh, and it's always in person, which is something I really enjoy. You know, everyone's socially distanced, wearing masks, uh, but it's still just so refreshing to have an in-person course. After class ended, I went to go get some lunch 
at the Chick-fil-A on campus. It opened relatively recently, so it's still kind of a popular place to go for MTSU students. This is the third time I've had Chick-fil-A this week, and it's Wednesday, so see if I can't do another clean sweep. Chick-fil-A for lunch every single day. Had a lot of those this semester. It was at this point I was feeling quite tired, so I went ahead and took a 30 to 40 minute nap. With nap time over, I went ahead and started on my engineering materials science homework. Uh, this class is kind of cool. Right now we are learning about the structures of materials and why their properties are the way that they are. Uh, and we're doing a unit on crystalline structures right now. Technically this homework isn't due for another week, but I wanted to go ahead and get it knocked out because I'm a natural procrastinator and I'm really trying to break that habit while at college. As I was finishing up my homework, I got a call from a friend of mine, uh, Jason, uh, who kind of needed a ride to the dealership to pick up his car. And of course I welcomed it because I kind of needed a break from work. Oh yeah, I took it to the dealership because, you know, I'm not wanting to deal with it. Nothing was really wrong with this car, he just needed to get some oil and some seals and gaskets replaced. The dealership actually kind of washed his car, so he was, he was quite happy about that. And if you hear that beeping noise in the background, that's my radar detector going haywire just because there was a motion detector door. Uh, that was on K-Band that was kind of kind of messing with it. On our way back to campus, Jason and I kind of got into some traffic, so he challenged me to a round of rock, paper, scissors, shoot. And uh, I slaughtered that man. I, I won. I was very gracious and humble in my win. And Jason, I want you to know that uh, I'm the best and you lost. So, hey, hey. While I was waiting in the parking lot before a Bible study, uh, I kind of wanted to show y'all my car. Uh, I am very much a wagon person, uh, and so I drive a 2011 Volkswagen Jetta Sport Wagon TDI, so it's a turbocharged diesel engine, six-speed manual. I've installed RGB lights uh, along the top of the panoramic sunroof, and then I've got uh, RGB also in the footwells. So driving anywhere at night uh, or at dusk is just a really, really fun experience. Small group lasted roughly an hour and a half before I drove back to my dorm. So I was back at my dorm by about eight o'clock, eight o'clock in the evening. Oh crap. <laughs> hey, how you doing? <laughs> so the other day I was installing an upgrade onto my printer and uh, for some reason, uh, it's not working, so I'm gonna go ahead and fix that. So hopefully I can start printing like a test print uh, while I do the rest of my engineering homework lab. So let's get on it. So I'm gonna do my best to explain this simply. Uh, pretty much there's a part of a printer that gets hot. You can see me pulling it out there. Uh, that part I know works in the one that I had installed in my printer the day previous. Uh, did not get very hot, uh, not nearly as hot as I needed it to. So pretty much I'm taking apart the uh, what's called the extruder and hot end of the printer and I am replacing the heating element with one that I know works. All done. That was easy. But wait, I kind of underestimated the scale of this job. 
So long story short is that I did not realize that I needed to change the firmware uh, for the hardware that I added that I would have to go through the lines of code and kind of change individual uh, lines of code and different data to match the hardware that I installed and then I did not have a wire that would fit that USB port. Uh, so I had to go order that, which would put me back a couple days. So instead of getting an epic time lapse of some beautiful print, uh, you'll get a tired, hungry, uh, and frustrated Nathan, which is uh, almost as good, right? At this point, I went ahead and made myself some dinner with some stuff that I had in my fridge because I really can't go out and eat something on campus because they all close pretty much before seven uh, and that's due to COVID. But yeah, I went ahead and set up my projector screen. I turned on my projector and then got ready to eat my dinner while watching a movie. I had started watching Inception the other day and didn't finish it, and it's one of my all-time favorite movies, I went ahead and finished that. One of the perks of having a 3D printer is that I can make things like the orange projector mount that you kind of see there, that's keeping the projector on the bunk bed. Uh, and that's just one example of things that you can make uh, based off of just kind of a, a need that I see.